Hi, I'm John, the anti-poverty engineer, Termel. And you may have seen the video on the internet about me turning around and peeing a glass of urine, then turning back and chugging it in my attempts to get your attention to the fact that urine is not anything dirty. Urine is a byproduct of the blood coming out of the kidneys, added to sterile water, so I call it kidney milk. And in the Termel movie by Chris and Chad uh, uh, Chomor, they had a part of me explaining that if we were on a spaceship and the spaceship is hit by an asteroid and the damage to the hull, well, we have to build the repair components on the inside. Then we have to get them to the outside to go and cover the patch while we're patching it from the inside. And that's the best way to do it. So what if God came up with a way of being able to not only, when we're sick, get a bobo, have the repair components produced by the marrow, not only transported to the site of the bobo by the bloodstream, but a way of delivering the repair components to the outside for outside application too. Well, God came up with such a system, and that's what this is about. This is a way for poor people to have medicine and cure things without money. And this could be the most important video for you and your family over the next coming years of depression and misery and poverty. So heed it well. Next three lessons are going to be on urine therapy, PP power for poor people. First Aid Self-Help, Open Letter to Refugees and Others by Sister Dorothy Peart and Dr. Beatrice Barnett. DCND from Sister Dorothy Peart and I met her in my 1998 tour of Britain. Dear friend, <clears throat> I know many of you are sick and wonder and have no doctor or medicines to help you, but there is something you can do to help yourself. This is what this letter is about. You have seen Dr. Bernard of South Africa doing open heart surgery on television. I remember him explaining that in the blood are several kinds of white corpuscles which fight disease. When the body is infected, a certain kind of white corpuscle, a scout, rushes to the site, ascertains what the enemy is, sends back messages to the bone marrow, which then manufactures exactly the type of antibody needed. This means that at any moment in time, our blood carries the antibodies, antibiotics, we need. The next thing we need to understand is that all our blood is detoxified by the liver the liver either storing the toxins or passing them out of the body via the bile and the intestinal tract. From the liver, the blood passes to the kidneys. The kidneys extract about 1% of the blood and pass it to the bladder, so out of the body. We call it urine. We tend to think that everything that passes out of the body is impure, but this is not the case. Only one thing is impure, what passes out the back passage, what we call feces. This never became part of the body. So, the urine is pure. In fact, it is sterile. In it are contained the antibodies, also contained in the blood. Up to the minute remedies, remember, and as well as many other elements of medicinal value. They've actually said it's as close to amniotic fluid, the nurturing fluid for the fetus, as we can get. This being so, if urine is applied as a, as a medicine internally or externally, it gives the affected area a double dose of the body's own curative properties. All cultures have known about urine's medicinal value for centuries. I remember my grandmother told me about it, but I remember thinking her suggestion was disgusting. I was 10 years old. Many years later, I read a book called The Water of Life and could not put it down until I'd finished it. It was full of accounts of remarkable cures from urine therapy, cancers, fevers, wounds, burns, diseases, and the common cold. Now, I had also heard about urine therapy when Madonna was on the David Letterman show and said that she peed in the shower on her feet to kill her athlete's foot. So that, in a sense, let me know that there was something disinfectant in urine that disinfected things. Since Armstrong's time, thank you, Madonna, since Armstrong's time, a lot more research has been done, and the findings are neatly recorded in Dr. Beatrice Barnett's booklet.
Among other things, she tells us urine contains uric acid, anti-neoplaston, H11, 3-methyl glyoxyl, all of which cut down the development of cancer in various ways and even root it out. For wounds, allotonin, allantoin for stress, natural cortisone for viruses, agglutins, and precipitins, and she mentions 16 other medicinal properties. Because it is free and does not make money for anyone, it does not get advertised by the media. Besides, most people are prejudiced against it. I found it. I had to bring myself to actually use it. But I read the book at a time when I really wanted to escape from the clutches of the medical profession with all their drugs with side effects and their readiness to use the knife. For me, it's been a godsend. I am now into my third year using it internally and externally and have never felt so well. And I'm probably in my 12th year, but she wrote this years ago, you know. So, about the same time. After our letters, you'll find an extract from Dr. Barnett's booklet on how urine therapy is done, followed by some case histories of persons with AIDS. After that comes a selection of case histories from Armstrong's book. So, with every best wish for your future health, yours sincerely, Dorothy Peart, 35 Hamden Retreat, Birmingham, B129TB, England. Hi, Dorothy Peart. Nice to see you again. So now, the letter from Dr. This was a pamphlet issued by uh, Sister Peart. Uh, dear friend, this is from Dr. Bernice Barnett. B-R-T-N-E-T-T. -T, Bartnett. Dear friend, how exciting it is to see this message has reached you. Your own body is a great temple. After two centuries of research by top scientists, billions of dollars spent, we still do not know how the body properly works. Yes, of course, we know part of the basic functions, but that's where it ends. Yet our body's infinite wisdom knows automatically how to take care of itself. It produces antibodies, enzymes, hormones, and neuropeptides at the right time and the right amount. It produces a constantly new cells to give you the ability to live healthy. The only responsibility we have is to take proper care of our bodies, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. The water of life, your own water, will give you health and strength. It is produced by the body for the body, perfect each time you receive it. The water of life is a great gift. Anybody, however poor or rich they may be, can accept this gift and use it any way they want. It is really up to each of us. This is true justice. Urine therapy has saved thousands of people. It disinfects wounds and speeds up healing, and I can testify to that. It strengthens the body to fight disease. It nourishes the body in times of decreased food ability. You're recycling, you know, a lot of good stuff, so, and it prevents dehydration during a water shortage. Hey, you astronauts, rather than build that big new machine to clean your urine, take me, I'll drink mine. <laughs> we are living in a very difficult time and many things are happening to people who never expected them. Be grateful for this gift and take it with a prayer in your mind. May God bless you, each of you, and peace be with you. With universal love, Dr. Beatrice Bartnett. And extracts from her book, It May Save Your Life. And she's at Lifestyle Institute, Box 638848, Margate, Florida, 33063. Now, she says, caution, urine therapy and prescription and over-the-counter recreational drugs do not mix. This combination can be dangerous to your health. Well, I never was too aware. I can imagine the feedback effect, you know, because uh, good stuff gets picked up and fed back, so maybe drugs would be amplified. So, how urine therapy is done. Urine therapy consists of two basic parts, the internal application and the external application. Both parts complement each other and are necessary for best results. There are many different ways of using urine. After the initial experience, one will find his or her own personal way of application. Because urine is produced to one's needs, only your own urine should be taken for internal use. Internal application. Only fresh and your own urine should be used. Mind you, I wonder if years of old, if some of the kids came down with a certain disease, if the other kids drank some of that urine, would they be getting the antibodies and would it act like a shot today? It might have been the only way they could have immunizing themselves by finding someone who survived the disease and drink their urine, which is probably loaded with those antibodies. Good question. I'd like to know. So, 
Drinking, the midstream of the first morning urine is taken. Begin with two or three ounces and increase it to your personal comfortable level. Two, fasts. Fasts with urine and water are practiced for one or more days. J.W. Armstrong, a renowned urine therapist from England, let his patients fast for up to 45 days. Fasts are only recommended under trained medical supervision. Enemas. The easiest way to take an enema is with a syringe containing two or three ounces of urine. The urine is kept in the colon for as long as possible. Or well, there's a better way. Chug a huge 20-ouncer an hour before you get up in the morning, and the, for some reason it must have no acid and the sphincter of the stomach alerts the intestines that whoa this is good stuff it's now not acidic you can open up and it seems that the intestine opens up and then it flushes from top to bottom so I see no reason you'd want to have to put it in from the other end when you can flush it from the top down if you chug a large amount in the morning